These views captured uh, by television cameras aboard uh, the closest uh, search and recovery helicopters in the vicinity of the landing site. You can see uh, how how close the Soyuz landed uh, to a bullseye target, basically. Uh, the uh, first uh, all-terrain vehicles already at the spacecraft within seconds after touchdown. An excellent view in this replay of uh, the soft landing engines uh, firing just uh, a split second before touchdown to help buffer uh, the uh, initial impact of the landing under the uh, main chute of the Soyuz and uh, one of the Russian Mi-8 helicopters landing uh, within seconds thereafter to begin uh, the process of the recovery of the crew. And uh, we now have video from the landing site uh, on a bright uh, sunny day with temperatures in the mid 60s as uh, the crew uh, is now uh, in the process of being extracted. Again, the Soyuz landed on its side. That should be uh, the commander of the Soyuz, Alexander Samokutyayev. Yes, indeed it is. Uh, being helped out by his flight surgeon and other support personnel from RSC Energia. By the side of the Soyuz capsule is NASA Public Affairs Officer Josh Byerly. Josh, tell us what uh, what you're seeing there. We're sitting here uh, watching these crews out here work as efficiently as they typically do, uh, trying to get these crew members out of here. As you talked about, they've got uh, one out. Some of is is out there working on getting uh, Ron, Garen, and uh, Borisenko out of the capsule. It looks like they're pulling out yet another crew member as we watch. And that would be Ron Garin uh, flashing a big smile as he's extracted. Uh, and uh, we mentioned uh, before, Josh, uh, that uh, sometimes uh, landing on its side uh, would tend to slow down the extraction of the crew a bit, uh, as opposed to back in May when uh, Dmitry Kondratiev, Katie Coleman, and Paolo Nespoli landed upright and were extracted in, in the uh, preferred manner. Uh, we can see Dr. Steve Gilmore there, one of the flight surgeons. Uh, but Ron Garin looks to be in good shape. And uh, never shy of ceremonial trappings, uh, we're looking at a picture of uh, the great designer Sergei Korolev and Yuri Gagarin uh, that was carried uh, inside the, the capsule itself. Of course, uh, this spacecraft was dubbed Gagarin uh, prior to its launch uh, back on April 5th, just a week shy of the uh, launching of Yuri Gagarin as the first human in space. A good view now of Ron Garin. Uh, he looks to be in uh, very good shape, uh, smiling broadly. And uh, you probably have a better view than we do, Josh. Uh, what are you seeing? Now, he, he looks to be in great shape. You know, it's, uh, it's always amazing to see these astronauts and, and cosmonauts come back to Earth after being up there for six months. And, uh, you know, I, I think it says a lot about how uh, the International Space Station program and our international partners have worked to uh, keep these crew members in shape while they're up there on orbit. I think quite a bit has been learned about how the human body uh, reacts to being up there for that long. And you can see how well these crew members now come back to Earth and how well they feel. Uh, you can see that some of those precautions and uh, those efforts that we take with our crew members uh, are working. And uh, Josh, as you're speaking, uh, Andrei Barasenka now uh, in his reclining chair. So all three crew members are out of the Soyuz, uh, appearing to be in very good shape. And uh, we'll be watching uh, the television as uh, it becomes available to us, uh, as the crew members uh, have an opportunity to spend a few minutes uh, beginning the adaptation to a gravity uh, environment for the first time in five and a half months. It was a, a textbook. Uh, evening in terms of uh, all of the activities, uh, the crews uh, saying farewell to one another up on orbit, the uh, undocking of this Soyuz spacecraft several hours ago, and of course uh, the deorbit burn and all the activities associated with the module separation, the deployment of the parachutes. Andre uh, Batasenka flashing a thumbs up. He became the uh, Expedition 28 commander back in May. 
And now uh, the uh, recovery teams are beginning uh, to uh, carry uh, the crew members uh, in their respective chairs uh, a few yards, as uh, Josh Byerly indicated, to this uh, inflatable medical tent where they will uh, be assisted out of their Sokol launch and entry suits into uh, more comfortable clothing and uh, eventually uh, to board the helicopters for the flight back to Karaganda.